It was the last day of a 10-day Discovery Channel shoot. The guys shooting above the surface on the boat had nailed this epic orca footage. And as the underwater cameraman, I'd been jumping in day after day, and all they would do is they'd just swim past and occasionally just turn their head and look at me, but nothing that made great TV. The pressure was on, only a few hours to go. Lots of things going through my head. And all of a sudden, one of the team goes, Steve, there's three orca right beside the boat, go in now. So I just dived into the water and went down to the bottom and all of a sudden three orca come past me and one of them went upside down and grabbed this ray then dropped it a couple of metres away. I was like, whoa. All of a sudden this huge mouth of this orca, like this is a mouth that can take huge chunks out of whales. And I'm watching it get narrower and narrower and the silt's coming off the bottom and I'm thinking, what's going on? I couldn't quite tell. And all of a sudden, out of the silty bottom, this orca backs up and lifts up this ray and it lifted it up above my head. And I was like, this is what dreams are made of for natural history TV. I knew this was a huge moment. Picking up an eagle ray by its tail has never been filmed before, and they did it three times that day. It was huge. As a kid, I remember devouring stories of people doing incredible adventures on the ocean. I remember the first time putting my head under a beautiful blue sea. It's like, oh, I was hooked forever, man. This is the world I wanted to be part of. And the cool thing is, I've got all my kids into it now as well. Isn't that awesome? When I was 12, I had to do a school project about the ocean and how we can protect it. So I asked Dad to help me make a video about how turtles are eating plastic, and I showed it to my brother's class. I remember seeing those kids when you showed the video, and their eyes just lit up. I thought, man, this is powerful. It was a light bulb moment for me. I thought, kids showing kids about the ocean. Awesome, and that's where young ocean explorers come about. Today's adventure is pretty exciting. We're on the lookout for one of the biggest creatures alive. With young ocean explorers, it's about me going into my dad's underwater world. We've done 20 episodes so far, with some stories of being on humpback whales, dolphins, turtles, and I even got to go up to the Kermadec Islands and swim with heaps of sharks. And I got to do my first paddy discover scuba dive in the Cook Islands, which was amazing. We want to create stories that inspire this generation of kids, that they see how incredible the ocean is and that they need to look after it as well. I never would have dreamed we'll be doing what we're doing now. My name's Riley. And I'm Steve Hathaway. And my Paddy's opened this world to us, and we want to share it with others. Yeah.